shining like the sun, warming everyone, falling like the snow on the people down below, shining like the sun, warming everyone, falling like the snow on the people down below. Comes to the slaughter, comes out. That is Nordic Daughter, everybody. This is Raven with Hello Girls Legion. Thanks so much for tuning in. I have my great friends, Melissa and Jason Liking from Denver, Colorado. And they came out here to join us at the Brush Hollow Reservoir in the Fremont County area. I was really excited. They were coming through. They were doing their traveling. We're getting an interview done with them. We got a photo shoot done for them. Man, it's been a great day. So I've got some questions for them. So when is your band's album coming out? Well, we're hoping to see it sometime in June. We're going to release our first EP. It won't be a full length album. You can look for that later, probably November, December. November, December? Yep. And where can they find you on Facebook or on the internet? You can find us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Nordic Daughter. You can also find us at nordicdaughter.com. And so, with Nordic Daughter being the name, it seems like it's basically Nordic inspired. So, kind of like the bright and So, what's like the phrases of song is really about society more than anything. It's um, it's representative of people kind of falling into that pit of following the crowd. You know, the sheeple. The sheeple. <laughs> the, the sheeple. There's a lot of sheeple in the world, especially in America <laughs> right now. We're going to go there. Whoa. So how do you feel about all that's going on? You've got a lot more going on than just Nordic Daughter. You also are in a band called Something for Tomorrow as well, aren't you? That's right. And they're also going to be playing this Saturday at Herman's Hideaway for the KBPI Battle of the Bands or something. That is correct. Awesome. Yeah, for the Metal Shop uh, Finals. Uh, one band's going to be, get picked this Saturday to play the Metal Shop giveaway for KBPI. Sweet. And what's your time slot? Uh, 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. So be there 11 o'clock for something for tomorrow. I would like to ask you, though, like how long have you guys been together deciding, you know, music together besides just being a lovely, lovely husband and wife. <laughs> uh, years and years, but it's always been kind of uh, casual, just getting together and making music, but we, you know, decided, you know what, let's give this thing a shot and see where it goes, see where it takes us. So, well, it's pretty exciting. Any, yeah, it is exciting. I'm excited for you guys. I got to go to their show about two weeks ago or so, and they were phenomenal. They were at Herman's as well, where they opened up, and she played with a band called Digital Anxiety. They're awesome. Hope you guys are doing good. And um, do you have anything to say to your fans and your newbie fans out there? Yeah, you know, um, we're actually doing a writing challenge in April. Uh, April 1st through April 30th, we're going to sit down and we're going to write a song every day. And if you want to get involved, you want to participate, you can actually sign up to co-write with us any day of April. We've already got about 10 slots booked, so... 10 slots booked already, so that means there's only like 20 days left or something? Yep. So you guys want to probably get that booked? And I'm super excited to also be working with Melissa more in the future. We're going to partner and do something called Like and Legion Media, where we just do some little fun stuff, some political talk and some live shows and stuff like that. So that'll be later on for us to take care of our political views on life, because we're definitely not part of the Trump society, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Is that okay? We can always Absolutely. <laughs> well, well I think I, you guys... I'm loud about that. Are you loud about that? <laughs> well, you just came back from Washington, D.C. I had to stand up, guys. I'm sorry. Did you come back to Washington? Uh, yeah, I go out to Washington and I lobby every year. I am the congressional district leader for Diana DeGette's district. Nice. Um, for One.org. What One.org does is we focus on, just through advocacy and using everybody's voice, we lobby Congress to make sure that we're providing vital foreign aid to people that really do need it. We've been able to change some of the laws of, actually, President Bush is the one who initiated PEPFAR, which has brought AIDS medications to people globally. 
So that I say that that's a big attribution to Bono and Dean to so push of one. I'm assuming some of your funding from Nordic Daughter and whatnot will help you also fund your lobbying and help fund your other awesome band too. Oh <laughs> yeah, I think we plan on giving five to ten percent back to the community. That's awesome. And that's interesting. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, what do you have to say to your fans? Uh, just keep rocking. We'll see you out there. See you out there. Remember, Herman's Hideaway, and always follow us, Hill on Hills Legion, to bring you the coolest awesomeness of people in the world, and mainly Colorado. But anyways, I have dreams. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Love and lyrics.